Thank you for choosing a para. What's in the kit? Preparation before use. The electrode holder is composed of a metal stand base, a supporting bar, and an electrode clip. First, screw on the metal stand base to the meter on either side. Then install the supporting bar on the metal stand base. Lastly, install the electrode clip on the supporting bar. Plug the power adapter tightly into the DC9V socket. Connect the pH electrode. Plug the blue BNC connector into the pH or MV socket, and black RCA connector to the temp socket. Loosen the locking ring of the electrode storage fail by twisting it counterclockwise. Then pull out the electrode slowly. Clip on the pH electrode to the electrode holder. Electrode cleaning. The meter is only as accurate as the electrode is clean. Always thoroughly rinse off the electrode before and after each measurement with distilled water or deionized water. Rinse off the electrode in the beaker or use a wash bottle to clean off. To remove excessive water, just shake them off or blot dry with Kim wipe or filter paper or clean tissue. Never rub the glass membrane of the electrode, otherwise static electricity will be generated and cause measurement error. How to calibrate? Dip electrode into pH 7.00 buffer at least 1 inch deep, stir it for a few seconds and let it stand. Long press CAL button to enter calibration mode. CAL1 icon will flash in the upper right corner. Then wait for the reading to stabilize. When the reading is stabilized, the smile face appears and stays. Short press the enter button to calibrate the first point. End icon appears after calibration is finished. In the meantime, CAL2 will start flashing, and 4.00 pH and 10.01 pH will flash alternately reminding you to perform the second point calibration. Use 4.00 pH buffer and repeat the calibration procedure again. When the reading is stabilized, the smile face appears and stays. Short press the enter button to calibrate the second point. End icon and the electrode slope of acidity range will show up after calibration is finished. In the meantime, Cal3 will start flashing, and 10.01 pH will flash at the lower right, reminding you to continue to the third point calibration. Use 10.01 pH buffer and repeat the calibration procedure again. When the reading is stabilized, the smile face appears and stays. Short press the enter button to calibrate the third point. End icon and the electrode slope of alkalinity range will display after calibration is finished. The meter returns to measurement mode, the calibration icons LMH will show up, indicating the low, medium, and high points are all calibrated. Rinse the electrode with pure water for a few seconds. Blot dry the electrode with Kim wipe or filter paper or clean tissue. pH buffer solution series. Three point calibration. How often to calibrate? How to take pH measurement. Rinse the electrode with pure water for a few seconds. Blot dry the electrode with Kim wipe or filter paper or clean tissue. Submerge the electrode into your sample solution at least 1 inch deep. Stir the electrode for a few seconds and let it stand still. Wait for the reading to get fully stabilized and then record it as the pH measurement. Rinse the electrode with pure water for a few seconds. Blot dry the electrode with Kim wipe or filter paper or clean tissue. Find the right pH electrode.
Data storage, recall and delete. When readings are stable, short press the M plus button, the meter displays M plus icon and data numberings on LCD, and saves the measurement data. Long press the RM button to recall the last set of saved data. Keep pressing up or down to recall the data successively. The meter can store 50 sets of data. Once the storage is full, if user press the M plus button again, the full icon will be displayed on LCD. The storage needs to be deleted in parameter setting P4 to save new data. The numberings in M plus indicates the total number of stored data. ORP measurement. If ORP measurement is needed, users need to connect an ORP electrode and perform the test. Plug the BNC connector into the PH or MV socket. Loosen the locking ring of the electrode storage valve by twisting it counterclockwise. Then pull out the electrode slowly. Power on the meter to enter measurement mode. In measurement mode, short press the mode button to switch between pH and MV measurement mode. Rinse the electrode with pure water for a few seconds. Blot dry the electrode with Kim wipe or filter paper or clean tissue. Submerge the electrode into your sample solution at least one inch deep. Stir the electrode for a few seconds and let it stand still. Wait for the reading to get fully stabilized and then record it as the ORP measurement. Rinse the electrode with pure water for a few seconds. Blot dry the electrode with Kim wipe or filter paper or clean tissue. Notes on ORP measurement. How to do the parameter setting. In measurement mode, long press the mode button to enter parameter setting P1. Then select P3 for temperature unit setting. Short press the enter button, the temperature units flashes, short press up to switch. Short press the enter button to confirm. Short press up to enter P4 or short press the measuring button to return to measurement mode. Parameter settings.